इट इज फाइनली हियर वेबफ्लो हैज फाइनली लॉन्च्ड इन ऑफिशियल प्लग इन इन साइड फिगमा that not only converts your figma designs into webflow projects but also helps you design and build websites inside figma with ease let's take a look at this new plugin and go through everything that it offers as well as how it converts your figma designs to webflow projects so the first thing is that it's completely free and it's on the figma community so you just need to type in figma to webflow in the community tab and that's about it to bring it up it's super easy go to resources under a new project project right here click on plugins and search for figma to webflow for me it just pops up right here and right now i can quickly just go ahead and run this now it showcases a real cool feature right when you open it so essentially it's converting your auto layout pages to responsive web designs in webflow inside the plugin itself it offers you a set of plugins and structures for you to get started so you don't have to design from scratch you can use their components as well all you need to do is just connect your webflow account webflow accounts if you don't know are completely free now before we connect our account we just have to go to webflow on our browser log in into our workspace and just click on new site try this out we're just going to click on a blank site which is absolutely free and i'm going to name it figma to webflow awesome i'm going to click on create site and once it creates our site our setup is absolutely done we don't have to do anything else i'm going to go back to figma and click on connect account it will open up a chrome page or a pop up here it'll open up a simple page like this and you just have to click on the project figma to webflow essentially and all you have to do is authorize the app now it's absolutely done you have to do nothing else after this now going back to figma i'm going to say let's start it'll uh, it'll check if it's connected and that's about it now to make sure that the page is built properly you have to ensure that the frame is auto layout so i'm going to create a frame which is 1440 pixels on the width as is most website designs that are generally created in figma and height can be anything i'm going to click on auto layout so just make sure that your frame or your website or a web page inside figma is auto layout enabled now inside this plugin you'll see that there are a lot of cool features here first of all you can copy layouts that they've already created for you so for example i want to create a navigation on top i'm just going to click on nav logo left and it adds a navigation inside our frame perfect now i want a hero section inside here so i'll click on hero and under hero we have four options to choose from you can of course replace the images the buttons are already built in auto layout so you can always use all the components and apart from that if you're looking to build custom stuff for webflow you can always go to the structure section right here right next to layout and you can find a new page section and containers columns grids etc so all the responsive layouts you found in webflow you also have here now we're going to try out two really cool things now i'm going to copy this website design built by roji which is a responsive web design created inside figma and this will be a good example to showcase how existing designs can be converted into webflow websites as well so we'll do both the webflow website as well as the as well as a new design website now here as you can see roji has created this nice little navigation it's also created a nice cover on top with text in the middle as well as a navigation up top now to make sure that all of this fits well in webflow and works well as well you just have to copy structures and put it inside structure to make sure that an already existing design works in webflow all we need would need to do is click on the frame here first of all we'll make the frame and auto layout to begin with and we'll make sure that it has the proper constraints so it's center aligned or it has padding at the top or the bottom you also have to make sure that stuff here is either fill container or is fixed height and width and that's about it. and to make sure that it's even better all you have to do is click on one of these components here inside the plugin here and click on columns grids sections containers and just fit them inside those components so if i have a form here like this i'll delete it i'll select the frame from here and click on section or container and here what i can do is then paste it inside this section or container then set it up to make sure that it works for me if you have already created a design and you want to convert it uh, you'll have to do a little bit of work but the work is worth it it's super easy to do and everything exists here in the plugin now let's convert Now I just need to click on the frame here. Select a Webflow website. So under none selected, I'll click on Figma to Webflow, and now I'll just say copy to Webflow. 
it will prepare assets it might take a minute or two but once it's done it says copy to clipboard now you have to go back to your webflow project and inside your webflow project i will now just say command v or control v on my keyboard to paste and once we do that it pastes it inside webflow and everything as you can see is the exact same it even has the same layer names that we needed and it is exactly structured for us. And the best part is, if you've created it with Webflow components, it will be responsive as well. You might have to tweak it a little bit. For example, for larger displays like this, I'll have to make sure that is it is centered. I'll just have to auto on both margins and now it is centered. So the essential process is not that difficult. In fact, I'd say it's one of the easiest processes I've seen in a long time. Now, another cool thing about the plugin that I just noticed, in fact, is that when you're trying to export your own designs, if there is any issue or error that might create a problem or an issue, they will tell you right here under this little yellow icon inside the plugin, which I think is pretty cool. And I don't know how they do it, but it's pretty nice. I hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and I post such videos every week. So make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. God bless.